We're going to go over there to the young man at the back. Um, I'm scanning the audience for a woman who'd like to ask a question afterwards. Um, so all men, hands down, please. <laughs> <laughs> yes, OK, the next question after that. Can we have the microphone of the young lady there? Thank you. Go ahead. Richard, um, thank you for a um, characteristically stimulating talk. And I'd also like to personally thank you for um, helping to disabuse me of my supernatural religious beliefs. Please send your story into Converts Corner <laughs> on richarddawkins.net. That's yeah, on the cult website. I read the website regularly. Um, and uh, raising my consciousness to the uh, splendour and wonder of scientific awe. Richard, I'm a trainee psychologist, and with regards to religion and mental health, the uh, um, evidence is uh, unambiguous. People who are religiously active tend to be um, psychologically healthier than people who aren't. Now, I'm not defending um, religion or arguing that God is true. My point is that if we as um, secularists and free thinkers wish to outcompete religion, if you like, um, then we need to follow um, the... Uh, the, the practice of religion, which is the sense of community that, that religion offers, and is probably the most significant reason as to um, its uh, psychologically um, healthier uh, reasons why people who are religiously active are uh, psychologically healthier. And so, if we wish to advance as a movement, then we need to um, create that sense of community. Now, given that um, uh, uh, congregating free thinkers has been likened to uh, herding cats. Do you agree with me, and how best do you think we can achieve this? Thank you. Okay. Well, thank you. Um, perhaps what we should do is, is start a cult, but which, 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 which I actually have not done. And in a way, um, what you're criticizing is the very fact that I haven't done it, and others like me haven't done it. We don't do cults. Um, now, if you're right that uh, religion predisposes to greater mental health, I would like to see the evidence for that. But as you rightly say, it doesn't for one moment suggest that religious belief is belief in anything true. Uh, it's, it could very well be that believing a certain kind of falsehood does indeed make you happier and, and um, healthier and all sorts of other things. There's no earthly reason why that shouldn't be the case. Uh, if, if anybody, for example, is afraid of dying, uh, then to be told by a priest that you're not going to die could well remove some of the stress from your mental life and make you feel mentally healthier but of course that doesn't for one moment make it true um, okay so that's that that that's that point but what about this fostering of a sense of community mm. let us shy away from all ideas of, of cult and of um, acolytes and bishops and movements and priesthoods and things like that is there something we can do to um, provide some of the sense of community that churches do provide it's been suggested that one of the reasons why the United States of America is such a, a religious country is that um, it's a country of immigrants and churches did provide a sort of substitute for the extended family that um, immigrants who coming to a strange country feeling lonely and missing their, their support system of, a, of an extended family back in Europe or wherever it was could turn to the church instead. Well, I see no reason at all why um, clubs and societies of free-thinking people shouldn't provide the same structure of God, what coffee mornings and, and <laughs> creches for children and, and things like that. I don't know if you've ever been to any of these mega churches in, in, in America. I mean, they are an entire way of life. There's, there's cafes and restaurants and there's, there's um, basketball courts and, and there's um, places where uh, children can be kept entertained while they're or rather probably going to be indoctrinated while the parents are. Um, so, I, I mean, I, I would certainly hesitate to do, to do that, but there's no reason why um, groups of free-thinking people shouldn't get together like any other groups. Groups of ornithologists, groups of stamp collectors get together, so, so why not? Herding cats is a problem. Atheists do tend to be of rather independent mind, and so um, that's, that's where the herding cats uh, uh, problem comes from, but I still don't see why it shouldn't be done. I'm not the person to do it. I'm, I'm not um, that way inclined, uh, but um, I, I would be happy if others did.